Did you know that you can build your own custom windows in Archicad in any shape you like? Something like this, or this, or that? No? Okay, then let's go into Archicad and I'm going to show you how you can do this by your own. Well, we start here with just a simple wall and we want to put our window into the wall. And to build our own custom windows, we will do this with a slab. Before I pick the slab tool, I just start with a polyline. I draw something I want to have as the shape of the window. So I can use the magic wand to put the slab into the shape I draw it with the polyline. In this case, I just draw a rectangle here. Then I click on the rectangle and I go to fillet and chamfer. And I say it should have a radius of, let's say, 0 0.25 meters. So it has these nice sci-fi looking round edges. And that should be the shape of our window. In the next step, I'm going to take the polyline and go to offset all edges. I press on control to have the little plus button here on the cursor and I offset the line, yeah, let's say six centimeters. So that will be the frame and this will be the glass. That's it. Let's go to the slab tool. Before I draw the slab, I pick something here I pick a material, probably metal, and I also pick a color for the surface first. In this case it's set to color black. I'm fine with this, so I press the space button for the magic wand and I click inside here. And in 3D it should look something like this. So this should be our frame. So what we need is a hole in the middle. I will go back to the floor plan and I click on the edge of our frame or of our slab. And in the pad palette you see subtract from polygon. I hold down the spacebar again for the magic wand and I subtract this hole into our frame and then it should look like this. So now we have our frame, we need the glass. I can do this in 3D, it's okay. I pick the pipette here. So I now have the slab tool activated and I press down the spacebar again for the magic wand and I click inside here. So now I have done something I didn't want to have. So it didn't work actually as good as I wanted to because I picked the outline here. I want to have the inside line. You see this with the blue line here on the inside. And, and this should be fine right now because now I have only the inside of the hole selected or the slab is now on the inside of the hole. So first of all, the slab shouldn't be six centimeters high or the glass shouldn't be six centimeters high. Three centimeters is enough. And we will put this down by one and a half centimeter so it's in the middle and of course it should not look like metal if we cut through the window so i pick glass as structure material and also as surface material and that's it so our sci-fi looking window should look something like this and now I show you how you can transform something which you made from slabs into a window that you can put in a wall. And I will make this more than one time because I also show you how to make it wrong. So first of all, you select everything and then you go to file, libraries and objects, save selection S and here you'll find the window. And then Akika wants to know, do you want to save this, uh, so your horizontal plane as a window which is parallel to a wall or has it the, is, is the current editing plane the correct side? 
So that's fine because our window is laying flat on the, f on the floor, on the ground. If we have trod this in a section, we could use current editing plane, but in this case, horizontal plane is correct. And now we save this in our embedded library. You can also save this to your general library. It doesn't matter. I call this sci-fi window one. Now Akika wants to know some settings. We already set the surfaces and we set the building materials. Now you can set the lines and the pants, but that seems fine for me. And I press OK. Now I click on the window tool. And I'm in the embedded library, so that's the only window in our embedded library. And I pick that and I draw this into our wall here. And now you see that the round edges cause these holes inside the rectangular hole in the wall. And there's a little trick how you can handle this. And the trick goes something like this. I will show you how to make this wrong first and then I will show you how to make this correctly because that's something a lot of people do very wrong and then they get desperated and then they say, okay, no, I cannot do my custom windows in Akika, but it's really easy. You have to pick the outer frame. So I can pick everything here, but it's, it's enough if I pick the frame here and I press Ctrl and T to go into the settings and I make this smaller here because we only need the classifications and there you always find the ID on the first point and you have to type in wall hole as ID so when the ID is set to wall hole Akikat recognizes that that's the outer frame of the hole that's in the wall and not the rectangle So again, select everything, go to File, Library and Objects, Save Selection as Window, Horizontal Plane, Continue and Save, Save for Window 2, go back into the Windows, Save for Window 2 and put this into the wall. And now you see it worked, the hole has this round shapes, the round edges, but our frame is lost. And that's because when you set something to wall hole, this means this should only be the hole, but the structure itself will not appear again. So the trick is simple. You just click on the frame, you copy it. Didn't work, okay. I copy the frame, ah, I have the class selected, I'm sorry. Now I pick the upper frame and I delete the wall hole and type in one, two, three. And then I pull the frame back again on the exact same location where our wall hole frame is. And now it should work. Again, select everything, file, libraries and objects, save selection as window. Save for window three. Go into the windows, control and T, select cipher window three. And now we have our cipher window in our wall with the wall hole. And that's how it's done. It's quite simple. Just remember you have to put one frame or one plane, whatever, which should be the wall hole inside your selection. And this wall hole will be deleted or it will not be visible. And you can draw any shape with slabs or you can also use beams and columns and whatever you like. But I think it's pretty easy with slabs and so you can create your own custom windows in Archicad quite easy, quite quickly. I hope you learned something and as always have a great day and stay creative.